Roger. Maybe bad equitation is like the new thing. Hey, bitch. Welcome back to another video, guys. Today's video is going to be really chill and just, just a fun one. So honestly, I think that this video is the perfect example of just because you have money doesn't mean that you have talent and also just wow, wow. Before we get into this video today, you guys, firstly, I know this is my very first video in five years where I have had neutral colored hair. A huge, huge thank you for all of the support over on Link Equestrian. We actually are gonna be having an end of the month sale pretty soon, so head on over there to the Facebook or Instagram pages to stay up to date on that and all of our new releases We've got some really exciting stuff coming in July on top of the fact that you guys you only have one more week to enter my saddle giveaway. It's one dollar to enter the raffle giveaway and I'm shipping the saddle anywhere in the world. You could literally win a two thousand dollar saddle for one freaking dollar. So everyone, I expect to see you over there. Also, you guys, members and Patreon exclusive content is open. So we are uploading extra horse content and horse videos on Patreon and YouTube members. So so you can join on either platform and you're gonna get the same additional three to four videos a month. Thank you so much to everyone for your support on all of those platforms. If you support me over there, it really helps out, helps keep this channel alive. So I'm so grateful for you. Let's get to it. <laughs> So today's video, we're talking about a professional writer and his name is <laughs> the professional writer Roger Bost or Boost. I'm sure this guy is a really nice guy, first of all, but I'm sorry, dude, with your writing ability and your equitation, honestly, I think making fun of you is total fair game, okay? People can make fun of me, they can criticize my writing all they want. I'm just shocked that this person is a professional writer. I actually never knew who Roger was until I saw these photos pop up on my Instagram of his terrible equitation. He has 85,000 followers on Instagram. Why would you promote this? Look at these photos. Like, dude, why? Where did your leg go? I don't even know, bro. And he's literally an Olympic rider. Yeah, bitch, he's got gold medals. He literally has well, let's see, one, two, three, four gold medals, two silver medals, and one bronze medal. How? Roger, maybe bad equitation is like the new thing. He's a French show jumper. And let me tell you, girl, when I saw his photos on Instagram, I was genuinely shocked that he was a professional writer. I actually thought that it was a joke. And I thought that it was someone posting videos and photos of this guy horribly riding horses at a high level as like a joke maybe. But no, this guy is a professional rider. And I checked the comment section because I was like, there's no way that I'm the only one who thinks that this is fucking crazy. And I'm so glad that I'm not crazy because everyone else in the horse world seems to not understand how this guy's a professional rider. And honestly, it's like a known thing that he has bad equity. It's like he had a leg surgery the day before or something. I have no idea what is happening in any of these photos. I had better equitation and strength and stability in my lower leg the day after my leg surgery than Rogers had in his entire life. <laughs> What's even more embarrassing though is the fact that he posts these photos to the internet. 
That is such trash. Look at that. That is such trash equitation. It makes me want to throw up looking at his equitation. He's like hunched over on the horse. His leg is higher than the horse's back, bro. What? How is this guy on an Olympic team? Am I on drugs? Am I crazy? Am I living in a fairyland? How the fuck does that leg make it on an Olympic team? You know, I saw someone comment saying that Rogers riding in the Olympics speaks more to the quality of his horses than the quality of his own riding, which honestly I find to be so true because his horses honestly are phenomenal and amazing, especially to get him through courses with such bad equitation and still end up in first, second, or third place. Roger, your horses are working on 20,000 hours overtime with that leg, okay? Okay. Oh, poor guy. I hope he's okay. I mean, I know he's older, but dude, I want to know how he made that work. I want to know how he tried out for the Olympics and they were like, yes, signed. You're part of our team now. You're a professional rider. You're going to be an inspiration to millions. <laughs> What the hell are you doing with your legs? Mate, what is going on with your jumping position? <laughs> your leg isn't supposed to do that. <laughs> How to not ride? Superman status? Boy, go back to basics. No jumping. <laughs> you know, again, I'm sure Roger's a completely normal, really nice guy. We're obviously just having some fun here, some shits and giggles. I mostly wanted to make this video just really to, <laughs> to lift everyone else's spirits because I was like, shit, man, maybe I'm not a bad rider after all. If Roger Boost could make it into the Olympics with that leg, maybe I am just like one of the greatest riders in the world. It really, looking at Roger's photos boosts my self-esteem about my own riding. Anyway, guys, have a great weekend. I just wanted to make everyone feel a little bit better about their equitation over this weekend and just let you know that if it's possible for him, it's possible for everyone, okay? I love you guys, though. Thank you so much for watching. Check out that saddle giveaway, Link Equestrian, and YouTube members. All of that is going to be down below. But otherwise, I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.